L with one, you will come to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x over x minus 1 to the power of 2, plus x over x plus 1 to the power of 2. This is equal to 10 over 9. So what are the values of x? So the first step is we can let a to be equal to x over x minus 1. And we can let b to be equal to x over x plus 1. So that now, here we have a squared plus b squared. This is equal to 10 over 9. Now, we have that a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So this is algebraic identity. So that we have a squared plus b squared. This is the same thing as 10 over 9. So we can substitute here. So first, let's take 2ab on the left-hand side. So that we have a plus b raised to the power of 2. Subtract 2ab. This is equal to a squared plus b squared which is equal to 10 over 9. Now let's substitute the value of a, which essentially is equal to x over x minus 1, then plus b, which is x over x plus 1, raised to the power of 2, subtract 2, multiplying by a, a is x over x minus 1, then multiplying by x over x plus 1, 1, this is equal to 10 over 9. The next step from here, we have here, the LCM here, remember x minus 1, this is in the form of a minus b, x plus 1 is in the form of a plus b. So a minus b times a plus b, this will be equal to a squared minus b squared, the difference of two perfect squares. So the LCM is x squared minus b. 1. So x squared minus 1 divided by x minus 1. This is equal to x plus 1. So we have x times x plus 1. Then plus x squared minus 1 divided by x plus 1. This is x minus 1. So that we have x times x minus 1. Everything here. This to the power of 2. Then subtract 2. Multiplying by x times x. This is x squared divided by this is x squared minus 1. This is equal to 10 over 9. Now, in the numerator here, we have... This is the same thing as x times x. This is x squared. Then plus x times 1. This is x. Then we have plus x times x. This is x squared. x times minus 1. This is minus x. Divided by x squared minus 1. Everything here raised to the power of 2. Subtract 2x squared divided by x squared minus 1. This is equal to 10 over 9. The next step is that we have x squared plus x squared. This is 2x squared. Then plus x minus x. This simplifies. Then this is divided by x squared minus 1. Everything here raised to the power of 2. Then subtract 2x squared over x squared minus 1. This is equal to 10 over 9. The next step is that we can let 2x squared over x squared minus 1 be equal to u. Substituting u back to the equation here, we have u squared subtract u this is equal to 10 over 9 let's multiply both signs by 9 so that now 9 and 9 here simplifies so here we have 9 times u squared this is 9 u squared then subtract 9 times u so this is 9 u this is equal to 10 let's take 10 on the left hand side so that we have 9u squared, subtract 9u, subtract 10. This is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation here that we can solve 
by factorization method so that we have the product is equal to 9 times minus 10 this is minus 90 and we have the sum is equal to minus 9 so this means that we have to identify two factors such that we multiply those two factors we have we, we have to get a value of minus 90 if we sum those two factors we get a value of minus 9 so these two factors are minus 15 and 6 so that minus 9u this is the same thing as minus 15u plus 6u and we have that minus 15 times 6 this is equal to minus 90 so let's substitute this back to the equation then here we have 9u squared then subtract 15u then plus 6u subtract 10 this is equal to 0 so we have two parts here from the first part here we have that 3u is common so we factor out 3u so that into the parentheses we have 3u subtract 5 then plus in the second part here we have that 2 is common here so we factor out 2 so that we have 3u subtract 5 this is equal to 0 so here we have 3u minus 5 is common so we factor out 3u minus 5 and then we have 3u plus 2 this is equal to 0 so we have two parts here the first part is 3u minus 5 this is equal to 0 and the second part is 3u plus 2 this is equal to 0 so this implies that 3u is equal to 5 so let's divide both sides by 3 and that means that u1 is equal to 5 over 3 now on the second part here we have 3u this is equal to plus 2 if you take it on the right hand side this becomes minus 2 if you divide both sides by 3 then we have that u2 is equal to minus 2 over 3 now the next step is that if you recall if you recall we are saying that let u be equal to 2x squared divided by x squared minus 1 so let's substitute this let's start with u1 we have 2x squared over x squared minus 1 this is equal to 5 over 3 so the next step is to cross multiply here now if you cross multiply here we have 3 multiplying by 2x squared this is equal to 5 multiplying by x squared subtract 1 so 3 times 2x squared this is 6x squared this is equal to let's open the parentheses here 5 times x squared this is 5x squared 5 times minus 1 this is minus 5 let's take 5x squared on the left hand side so that we have 6x squared subtract 5x squared this is equal to minus 5 so 6x squared minus 5x squared this is x to the power of 2 this is equal to minus 5 to solve for x here we introduce square root on both sides so that we have square root of x squared this is equal to plus or minus square root of minus 5 so let's eliminate square root here so that we have x is equal to plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 5 as the square root of 5 multiplied by minus 1 so this means that x here is equal to plus or minus now we have root 5 square root of minus 1 this is i so we have plus or minus root 5 i and this means that x1 is equal to root 5 i and we have x2 is equal to minus root 5 i so these are two complex solutions these are two complex solutions now let's proceed 
to the case where we have u2 equal to minus 2 over 3. So u2 is equal to minus 2 over 3. So we have u2 is equal to minus 2 over 3. And we have that u is equal to 2x squared over x squared minus 1. This is equal to minus 2 over 3. Now let's cross multiply here so that we have 3 multiplying by 2x to the power of 2. This is equal to minus 2 into the parenthesis. This is x squared minus 1. So 3 times 2x squared, this is 6x squared. This is equal to minus 2 times x squared. This is minus 2. x squared minus 2 times minus 1. This is plus 2. Let's take minus 2x squared on the left hand side. So this means we have 6x to the power of 2 plus 2x to the power of 2. This is equal to 2. 6x squared plus 2x squared. This is 8x squared. This is equal to 2. So let's divide both signs by 8, so that now, if we simplify here, we have x squared, this is equal to, 2 divided by 8 here, this is 1 over 4, so we have 1 over 4. To solve for x here, we introduce square root on both sides, so that we have square root of x squared, this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 over 4. So let's eliminate square root sign here. So that we have x is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 over 4. This is 1 over 2. And this implies that x3 is equal to a half. And we have x4 is equal to minus a half. And this implies we have four solutions. We have four solutions to this algebra problem. We have x1 is equal to root 5i. We have x2 is equal to minus root 5i. And we have x3 is equal to a half. x4 is equal to minus a half. So this implies that x1 and x2, these are two complex solutions. And x3 and x4. These are two real solutions. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.